today we are talking about calculation methodology of winding electrodynamic stability. Our guests are Dr. Viktor Lazarev, the author of the theory, calculation methods, verification criteria and norms of welding software, and Dr. Ivan Lazarev, the co-author. Good evening, Dr. Viktor Lazarev, Dr. Ivan Lazarev. Uh, how do you provide uh, short circuit withstand capability of power transformers? This is a complex problem which requires, first of all, utilization of valid calculation methods to design the windings and the windings clamping structure to short circuit loads, and second, adequate manufacturing practices and quality control system to ensure proper implementation of engineering solutions. And where does welding software come into play? Uh, using weldings, one can verify short circuit withstand capability of power transformer windings. The software implements uh, calculation methods that are based on several decades worth of research in the field performed by Dr. Viktor Lazarev. Uh, within the coverage, the developed theory does not contain any empirical coefficients or dependencies, and thus uh, there are no limitations on the values of the parameters of the windings under consideration. Uh, the calculation results were checked against test results of windings and winding models. And what are the criteria of uh, short circuit withstand capability used in weldings? There are eight criteria that cover all kinds of damage occurring in windings under short circuit. And how do weldings uh, criteria compare with those put forth in informative Annex A uh, in IEC? The criterion of strength under the action of radial electromagnetic forces is similar to the criterion of conductor strength in tension. The criterion of rigidity is missing from the informative Annex A. Uh, one, however, must ensure that the residual winding deformations after short circuit do not affect the cooling conditions and or electric strength of the insulating gaps, so we find this criterion necessary. The criterion of buckling withstand capability is similar to that in the informative Annex A, the difference being that uh, the informative Annex A suggests to use a set of uh, empirical coefficients to take into account the wire type and the conductor's epoxy bonding, whereas uh, Eldinst uh, theory and calculation methods are based on rigorous application of uh, laws and relations of mechanical mechanics of deformable systems and thus uh, they take into account all the listed parameters in this slide to calculate the uh, critical stresses of buckling. The criteria of conductor strength and bending are totally different from those in the informative Annex A because the latter are internally inconsistent. In this slide are shown the criteria, the formulas 4 to 6, and obviously the respective uh, deformations occur simultaneously. Also, if one takes into account the deformations of initial bending that are plastic in nature, uh, it becomes obvious that uh, the windings fail the criteria in the informative Annex A even before any short circuit load is applied uh, to them. Thus we go by the uh, limiting bearing capacity of the winding conductor. And that is how we check the conductor strength in bending by electromagnetic short circuit forces. The criteria of tilting withstand capability and windings element strength under XL load are similar to those in the informative Annex A, the difference being that the acting forces and stresses come from a dynamic calculation of windings XL vibrations with regard to the inertia of the moving masses, such as windings, discs or turns, coil clamping rings and yoke beams. The criterion of windings withstand capability against torsion, also known as spiraling, also uses the results of the dynamic calculation of windings XL vibrations. And are there any further concerns related to transformer design after short circuit, uh, winding short circuit withstand capability have been uh, provided? Uh, of course, that will be the integrity of the coil clamping structure. 
Well, this calculation produces the maximum forces acting from the windings onto the uh, clamping structure. And these values are uh, used further in the uh, strength analysis of the clamping structure using a 3D finite element method calculation. And you have mentioned quality control. Uh, can you earlier, can you please elaborate? Uh, stringent quality control is indispensable if one intends to uh, manufacture a short circuit safe transformer. For example, there are documented cases when a transformer was designed with epoxy bonded conductors and the units that went for short circuit tests had epoxy bonding insured while the units that were delivered to the grid had not, which caused their failure in service. Upon customer's request, a review of production can be performed to ensure manufacturing of short-circuit safe transformers. For this purpose, we have developed a checklist. And please tell us your track record. Uh, some quantification of our track record is given in this slide. Uh, the test results mentioned here have been collected from various test laboratories for the transformers by various manufacturers from various countries. Uh, such uh, transformers also differed in uh, active part design and materials, staff qualifications and skills, uh, manufacturing practices and technologies, and such differences notwithstanding, there, uh, there is a match, 100% match, between the calculation results by our methods and the test results of such transformers, uh, which attests to the validity of the theory behind Weldin's software, calculation methods, verification norms and criteria, and also uh, it verifies our approach to, sh uh, to the strength analysis of the clamping structure that we perform. Thank you for this interview. You're, you're most <laughs> welcome. <laughs>